My name is Ronnie Goodless and you're watching Toffee TV. Welcome to Toffee TV. We've got Ronnie Goodless in the studio and we thought this would be a great opportunity to have a chat about the ticket debacle that seems to be going on over the road at the moment. But I think what's important is, is that we don't shy away from this because I think it was absolutely fantastic what they did on Saturday. 77 minutes, obviously, uh, 10,000 of them walked out, including uh, Sam and Mignolet, which yeah. was nice as well for them to show us support. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and Sacco. <laughs> but um, that's, this is something that Liverpool fans are really good at doing, getting together um, and, 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 and doing these things. And I think it was really important because I know people can say, well, £77 or there's £9 tickets or whatever. But I think, Ron, it's come to a head now and it actually may have worked as well. Liverpool seems to have been uh, put onto the back foot. The media have made a big deal out of it because I know people will go, uh, well, it was their, maybe people say it was their fault that it ended up being 2 2. But it, that was great, that, because all it actually showed was it can make a difference. You know, it, it did seem to be an upset in the crowd when those people left. And for me, I think this is a, a massive topic that Everton can get ahead of if they use their heads right um, in this ticket thing. Because this TV deal now, no ticket for me should be going up anywhere. No, no, it, it was a massive statement. I totally agree with you. I, I think, um, you know, whatever clubs come out with, it, it's a load of nonsense. They're going to get more money than anything. And, and it's there's just going to be so much money flying around. It's ridiculous. And again, I've said over, great opportunity for us for the next... Mm. A couple of generations, Everton, if they make a stand, you know, we always said about we're first at doing things, it's fantastic. And I think, you know, again, you can go back to that, how much you can afford to go to matches, mm. it's getting, you know, more and more. And I just think we, we can really put it down. You know, you're right, you know, you've got to have everyone singing off the same M sheet, and, and you're right, it's got more coverage than anything. And, um, you know, an old clock with his appendix and this, and everyone's talking about, you know, 77 minutes. 10,000 Liverpoolians walked out and I just think it's it's fantastic to get you know mm. everyone you, you know agreeing there but the thing is a football fan whether you're a blue noser it doesn't matter is, is it, you know it's your next generations yeah. and can you afford it and I think we, we should you know if Everton come out with something over the next few days and you know, over the next mm. week or two and say I tell you now next season we're going to do whatever mm. I, I think I think it's fantastic I really do well to be honest I mean I'm not slagging Everton off here. <laughs> Everton do do all. I mean, the tickets are quite reasonably priced. They do instalments on the season tickets. I mean, mine's over ten months, and it's you know it's an absolute blessing. There's no money on. Well, top the Newcastle of it. won twenty quid. The yeah. away support is fantastic. You know, but even that, you know, last week we seen a vote a vote of the Premier League chairman about yeah. trying to get thirty pound away tickets, and Everton were one of the only ones yeah. who backed it. They seem to be right right ahead of it. But I think this is an yeah. absolute massive opportunity. And if anyone at Everton is watching, because we know we, you watch <laughs> Mr. Elston, uh, while you're still can you He cast. subscribes. He does, you know. He, he, well, he watches, and we know Roberto watches, because every time yeah. we say something, he changes Wasn't the team. Wasn't his number number one? I think he's number one membership. But um, if Everton have got their heads screwed on, they will... I, I mean, the season ticket prices will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. They must be. If they've got their heads screwed on, they will have seen that and gone, do you know what? Let's do something really positive. Make a stand. Follow the what seems to be an increasing amount you know, uh, of people suggesting tickets need to go down and go, lads, we're not freezing the tickets. We are putting the tickets down. This season, we're putting them down by 25 quid, 50 quid, whatever. We're making so much money from the yeah. Premier League TV deal, which... Let's not get it wrong. We are paying for it anyway with our yeah. TV subscriptions. So let's not hit us twice. You know, let's go with it. Let's let's do something. Let's give it back to the fans because I think that'll be a yeah. massive statement. And also, like you've just said, generations of fans. You've got Liverpool fans out there who can't go to match. Let's yeah, grab yeah. them. That's let's right. grab. Right. All right, there's kids out there that mightn't even be into football. Let's grab them. And let's but say. I think what you don't want to wait for, you see, and I think that's what Sherman will do and owners. Yeah. Um, how does the land lie? You know, yeah. this will go away in two or three weeks. Sure, you know, they've, sure. they've had a walkout. They'll forget about that. But you go, well, they won't. Mm. And this is where we can make a statement by saying, look, we're not waiting for the rest of you. Yeah. We're going to do it. And I think, again, it'll, it'll put it down again. You know, we, we got, got nicknamed the People's Club a few years back. Let's show that we are. And again, you know, there's more walk-ups than any club in Britain is Evertonians. So again... The from Liverpool, yeah. you're looking at your local kids, and, and and again, you might have kids in the future, you know, can't, can't watch your game, they've got to watch it on the telly. Yeah, you know, the old thing in our day was, was the boys' pen, 
and then you get through and then you know that's what it's all so i think it's it'll be fantastic it really will and again instead of waiting for everyone as a man premier league clubs mm. let, let's do it off you know our, our own bat do it ourselves and again i think if you you put the question out over here did say and say you'll get more publicity out of it for the good than against and i think i think you get it back in other ways and, mm. and i just think it'll be a great statement to put out that uh, mm. evan are the first to do it and uh, and we're thinking of the supporters yeah. as well, which would be positive. I think there's that much money washing around, and it's going up. The deals yeah. are going up and up and up. And without fans, the football's not. Yeah, you might have the money is still coming, you know. But without the supporters yeah. there, what's the point? Well, it's, well, it's not being professional, Baz. But but the two nil, you know, the the two nil up, over the ten thousand. It's all. If you see MC Grounds, you, you wouldn't want to go. You exactly. wouldn't want to play. And, and you watch the revenue come down. Because no atmosphere is not... We're seeing, you, you've seen it when yeah. a club gets bad, don't you? Man City's yeah. just got back and now where they can do it. How many times have you watched a Champions League game where they've been no bad? No crowd. It's, it's terrible. Pundus, it's isn't it? awful. And we've seen, I was going to mention Man City. We've seen people criticising Man City. And I don't like criticising fans when you see empty seats. Because, you know, we're all... We're all, you know, supposed to be a working class sport, and mm. if fans can't afford to go, they can't afford to go. It's as simple as that. You've got teams like Man City. You've got a, in a lot of competitions, fans may have to pick pick their uh, games. You need so so from that point of view, we need we do need to all stand, you know, together rather than be laughing at each other. Because one of the big things about us is, and this is what Liverpool fans give us, a, you know, it's a stick to beat us is the half season tickets. Now we got more season tickets older than Liverpool anyway, so. They've, they're already creating that cap so they can create that demand so that they can put the tickets up. Whereas that we go, well, you know what? Is an introduction to the game. Maybe you'll keep us at the end of the season. So we're already doing stuff for the fans. So I think that's really important that we keep that going. But it's only a fraction of the revenue, yeah. isn't it? So really, it's making a statement and mm. saying, right, we're, we want you as a supporter for the next 50, 60, yeah. 70 years. And that's what I'm saying. Don't look at the look at the bigger oh, picture yeah. Yeah. Instead, yeah. instead of just through... Look at all that money. That's going to go in the coffers. Mm. You've got to think. You've got to think. Two million. And, 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 and more two things. million quid. That's all Liverpool are making out of this. Mm. Two million quid. They're getting two million quid. What will two million quid get a team club like Liverpool? And when you look at what that would get them, and what they will lose in terms of uh, fans. Uh, you know, people come in the game, people, you know, because let's be honest, once you're in, you're in, aren't you? You're in. Well, they've cancelled the meeting tonight. Yeah, for yeah. the tickets. Well, well, that shows you the reaction they've had. I, I bet you thought it's not going to happen. Or there'll be a couple of hundred to walk out. It won't even be on the news mm. uh, next week. It, 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 it's, it's forgotten about, but, but it's, not, it, it's just going to get bigger. But once you're in, six you're, months waiters for Jordan. Anderson. But once you're in, you're in, aren't you? As a fan, you're in the whole way. Well, there's a shocker, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but you're in it the whole way, aren't you? You're yeah, in for yeah. you're not you're in for tickets. You're, you're, in, you're in for well, that's what that's, that's what, what Arsenal. That's, what, that's what Liverpool tried to are trying to is, turn yeah. fans into customers. But you are you are a customer. But you're not a customer on their teams. You're, you're a customer on your yeah, own team. No, what I mean is fan. No, no but what I mean is what I'm saying is you're a customer on your teams. You're going by the new kit. You're going by the kids, you, the new kit. You're going by all the other. But as you say, you, you, you know you've got to pay, but it's how much you pay. Yeah. You know, you know, you don't want to buy like three kits and then two goalies tops and yeah. there's like five kits you've got to buy for the kids and it's all you know all the rigmarole and a tracksuit and that. But the ticket wise, as I say, it, it's massive. I, I think this is a massive turning point. Mm. I mean, mm. if, we, if we can get this and it, it'll, as I say, we'll get so much good press out of yeah. it. Uh, but don't wait, let's be the first yeah, and exactly. turn around and say, look, we're, we're going to do it. Use the heads. You know, yeah. As I say, we 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 are quite good at being the odd the odd one out. It's almost like we're in a position where we don't need to. It's it's like it's almost like reverse psychology. We don't have a big owner. We don't have any money. So why do we care about it? Do you know what I mean? Because mm. the other way is well, we haven't got any money. So let's charge everyone x amount of season tickets. Well, we don't do that. We look after our fans because it's almost like saying, well, we you are the most important thing we've got to win to look after. You. I mean it. Obviously, we, we could have new owners in the next whatever, and you know that's a different. Well, video. it's like having it's like having a nightclub. You, you charge extortion, extortionate prices. It's only half full. Then all of a sudden you drop the price down, mm. and then it's chocker, and you've got queues outside want to get in. Yeah. So again, and in your head, you, you've got your grandkids. Then you've mm. got you know next generations, and and I can see, you know, you know, if we do do it, 
uh, it, it'll get coverage everywhere, and, and it's we're the first ones. But supporters will be absolutely delighted anyway. Mm. And then you think to yourself, well, look, th this is a club that are thinking of, of the supporters the fans, and not of them all the time. And that's all the way the money's mm. going to go is, is agents and players. Exactly. But you turn it. around and you just think. Let's think of the supporters yeah. for That's once. It, mate. Look at the times we're living in. Everything's yeah. getting cut. Oh, the services it's... are getting cut. Yeah. And everything is getting cut. You know, people have got less money than they've ever had. Mm. So uh, it's going to come to a point. And we aren't Man United, so we haven't got 40,000 yeah. other fans who will just go, well, yeah. I don't care if you don't go, because I'll come over from China or from yeah, yeah. somewhere else and pay and get in. Yeah. We'll have some that do that. Yeah. But a lot of, for Everton Football Club, the core of us are... Scousers and, yeah, and local, local areas. Local, so local. the fellas with kids and they can't afford to pay 120 quid to no. say the two lads and them. So you want them yeah. that's grown up going, yeah. I used to go to Matt, I oh, but and they go forever and bring their kids. Yeah, yeah. At some stage people are gonna go, I can't afford to go. But it's nice when recently we had three home games. Hmm? You know, you know, if, if you want to take a, a couple of your kids and you go there, but you you tell me yeah, and uh, as you say, a working class person just goes, Oh, that's no problem, there you go. It's hard. And and the thing about it is, you know what? You hear the adverts on the radio and all that, and they're asking, you know, to get you, make sure you've got a seat and all this, and that that's that can be eliminated. You know, you, you think about all the other. Th you think you if you get someone into the match, you know, they're gonna go and buy stuff anyway. They're gonna go and buy coffees. They're gonna yeah. buy you know, all that other stuff that comes with it. And as you say, we are the kind of fans that won't be pushed too far. But I know we can be pl quite placid at times, but we were we are the kind of fans that, you know, if the tickets go up, we'll lo loads will just go. <laughs> Nah, you're all right. I'm not, I will walk I'll away from this. I'll see it somewhere else. Yeah, and that's the other thing, isn't it? You know, you you can watch Premier League games anywhere now. You can walk in any pub on a Saturday afternoon. Yeah, today, right. you know, you got kids. You know, you got kid your your age kids who. I'm not being funny, but kids sit down now and watch YouTube videos of um, people playing computer games. <laughs> you know what I mean? It used to be. I remember when I was like in my teens, and people going, "Oh, you should go outside rather than playing on computer games." Now people are watching. Other people play they're computer playing, games. Playing yeah. it themselves. It's mad. There's so many other things. And I just think Everton now could make a massive statement. And I know what Everton will be doing. They'll be going, we can't do that because we've already got the, the, the brochure printed. But, <laughs> but Everton could be sitting there going, do you know what, lads? This is a massive opportunity. Well, it's, it's, well yeah, but it's good it's, you know, for, for the loyal supporters anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then other ones who might think, do you know what, if they put the part, I'd love to go back. Yeah, yeah. And then you'd get them it's back. Such a... and, then, and then again after that, it, I'm not saying it's a thing where you go, well, like, they've done something good for mm -hmm. me, I've got to do it. Yeah, yeah. But, but you know, if you're the, I've always said about your first game, yeah. you know, if, if your dad, your grand or whoever it is, takes you to that match, you never forget it. No. And, and, and so, so let's get you know well, that that next. From a business point of view as well, PR wise, you always hear this yeah. word PR getting pointed mm. right. Everton are good. Everton are normally good at it until they let dickheads like George Osborne in. Um, <laughs> but they are very good at PR at times. But what a statement to just go right. That one over the road. I mean, they wouldn't even mention them. But you, that's what it perceived by. As soon as it hit the press, they yeah. just go. We know, right. People are being priced out of football, but not us. We are going to look after our fans. And we're getting loads of money in this summer, and it's going to propel us into new places. And you know what? Instead of giving everyone new massive contracts, we're going to look after the first, the people who matter first, and that's the fans. Yeah, yeah. And everyone will just go, and you know what? It'll Then the next club will go, look what they're doing. Look what they're doing. And Everton will get so much attention from it. Well, we got a lot of good publicity of the Newcastle, you know, yeah. with, with yeah, that one. Yeah. So so that's that's a fact. It's, it's a start. start. Yeah. But this one is massive. Even you, you like, know, this is like we're even going to like top every match day tickets. Do you cap them at like thirty-five quid or something? That's a lot of money for people yeah. who are trying to take your lad over. Yeah. You know, fat lad. There'll be lads there who are on the dole who want to. Well, there's who, different bands. Just want to love yeah, yeah, different they bands where game. you know different like, opposition. Like you, you're doing. Category. Yeah, well, it's you know you you sort of look at um you know just say well this is what we're going to do. We're going to stick and we're going to drop fifty quid or whatever it is off. The, well, the main, tickets and well, the main and thing is, the main thing is for me, Ron, is that there's a load of money coming in, and in the world of football, they'll be going. Well, one, that percent goes to that to the agent. Then mm. that player will want more money out of it, and the manager will want more money. I don't know. I don't, number one, we just say let's get the fans sorted first. They shouldn't be paying as much. That's the first. That's the first. No thing. ticket. No ticket should go up this year. 
at any mm. ground across the country, yeah, whether yeah, you're building yeah. a new stand or not, every no. that should be the first thing. And I know they're saying with the, they was asking for like a fund saying, well, that captain. No, the club should just say, morally as a club, we should be looking after our fans. You know, and as we've said, whether there's a waiting list or not, it shouldn't be. Yeah, but it should be the supply club, and demand in football. The clubs, the clubs will say to you, if you want top draw players, but Leicester's disproved yeah. it. You don't have to pay yeah. top dollar. You know, you, you can do it now. This has been the most competitive league, not the best, yeah. this season. Mm. You know, everyone, you know, the Leicesters and, you know, Watfords and whoever, you know, and even teams as they just come up are competing. Now, you sort of turn around then and you look at it, Vardy's just signed a contract, doubled his wages, the lad's just gone, you know, 80 grand. I mean, obviously, it's not to be sniffed at. But you're getting fellas now with all the add-ons. They're all on like 10, 12 million, and that's mm. not top yeah. draw. Mm. So at the end of the day, think of the fans yeah. once and just say, well, look, if you want to come to our club, this this is what we're going to offer you, but yeah. let's sort the fans out first. Definitely. And the other side of it is, <laughs> how much would we have to charge our fans if we wanted to try and keep up with Man City? It's impossible. No, you you can't keep up with Man City. It's not guaranteed, Ped, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. You, all your Arsenal, yeah, well, Man City, obviously the most, then it'll be Chelsea, and then you'll have Arsenal and pay decent. And then as you go through it, you know, you'll come down, but it doesn't guarantee you that you're going to win the league. Yeah. You, you know, you look at Chelsea, I'd love to have their wage bill, yeah. but it doesn't guarantee you. Now, if you've got a manager in place and a board that uh, are forward thinking and mm -hmm. you think, right, you, you know, we've got a fantastic fan base, mm -hmm. turn up every week and everyone's happy. Supporters are actually going the game. Um, you know, you, you're not sort of skint. You can go there and you think, right, I've, I've saved this because Everton do it this way. Mm, yeah. And then you, you're all as one then. And, and, it's, and yeah. I just think it's, you know, we've said it before. The time's and, now, isn't it? A, a great time to do it. A yeah, really and as I say, PR's the, PR is the first thing you look at. You just go, we would just be everywhere. PR, but but underneath that, no, uh, it's yeah, for the fans. It's, it's genuine. It is for the fans. Genuine it is for the fans, fans but, yeah. you know, right, I know do, I get the feeling that they'll probably be looking to freeze it this year. But just knock something off it, and it would, mm. it would, it will, it will start. It would be, and then when the Chinese do the takeover, yeah, we've got like a billion and a half. Then supporters say exactly. that's the club we want to support yeah. because they are forward thinking and they think that the supporters. Not listen. Not says. <laughs> not says the chat. Not says the people's <laughs> club like the Chinese nation does it. Let's be honest. Have you heard it here first? <laughs> not wearing red though. Not wearing no red. red. No red. <laughs> right. Tell us what you think about ticket prices. Should they come down, or are you a bad Tory? You just couldn't be asked and I'll pay what you want. If you're asked, stop watching because I don't want bad stories watching my channel. Simple as that. I don't mind them watching my channel, so I don't know what he's on about. That's disgusting. You work with you work with disenfranchised children and you want to I don't want it. No, no, movies. no. I'm only messing if you are a bad story. Find a river. Uh, anyway, right, uh, tell us what you think in the comments. <laughs> Told oh. you I'm not asked. I've gone past the point of caring. I've, I've told you this now. Uh, tell us what you think in the comments about ticket prices. How big a gesture would it be if Everton decided, right, we're going to look after our fans first and foremost? And how much would it just be boss just ripping reds and buzzing off them that we've got boss ticket prices and they've got £77 to watch Jordan Henderson? Jordan <laughs> Henderson! Sacco! <laughs> there you go. Right, don't forget to subscribe. Join us on Twitter as well, it's at Toffee TV1. We're on Facebook as well, facebook.com forward slash Toffee TV ESC. We'll see you soon.